Hi everybody, it's Kathy Riley with Kathy Stamps for You, your fun stampers journey coach. And I forgot, I have to take the volume down on my laptop. So how is everybody tonight? I hope you're all doing great and you had a great Tuesday. I'm here for tool tip time. So um, let me close this for just a second. I have something really, really pretty here on my desk, and this is our Journey Holiday Mini. Yes, it goes live tomorrow, August 1st. It, it, it's, they've outdone themselves. It's absolutely beautiful. There are so many beautiful um, ideas and inspirations in there. So I... Um, the project we're going to do tonight is focusing more on color combinations because I get asked that a lot. How do I come up with color combinations um, that I use? And sometimes it's just looking at the catalog. Sometimes it's a picture that I see. And the one that I try, I'm, I'm doing tonight is something fallish. That's where I got the name for falling for a great color combination. And it's um, it's really fun. You wouldn't really think of it, but I when I saw it, I really, really I wanted to give it a try, and I thought this was a really great way to do it. So when you hop on, if you would say hi, I would greatly appreciate it. So um there is actually, I believe, only one brand new product out of the Holiday Mini that I'm using. And it is, I was going to mark it, I had it. I'm going to be using this um, Changing Seasons embossing folder. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. So we're going to be using that out of there. And we'll come back to this later. Um, a few other things that we're going to be using. I'm just going to bring them all right up here. We're um, the Romantic Bloom die set. I kind of combine my bloom, my my blooms when I'm putting them together because sometimes some of the sets don't have all the pieces that I really want to want to use. So on this one, I wanted to use these two innermost pieces because. I used my, again, that's the Romantic Bloom die set, just using these two little pieces. Then what I grabbed is I grabbed um, my Steel Rule die. This is one of my favorite bloom sets, um, and yeah, you get a good look at it. There's two different shapes of flowers on here. You get the one that's like a heart, and then you have the one that is the point I have to go backwards um, the one that is the point there's two different kinds of leaves and this actually you need to have the platinum machine to get this to run through you use this and you use your two cutting pads and you can cut about four layers so if you're going to be mass producing steel roll dies are the best hi so that's the one and this is summer bouquet so I'm going to be using one of the flowers out of there. This I'm going to set to the side until I'm till the end. Now I already started prepping. Hi Missy. Hi Mother. Um, I started prepping my flowers because I wanted to do some things a little different. I used the pointed ones on the steel rule die, and what I did, I have the smallest one left out of this bloom. And all I did is I misted it, missed it. I added some water by misting it, and I'm crumpling it up. And that's what these two little gems were doing also. And I'm going to flatten them out. And I set them under, I grabbed my biggest stamp block. This is like a 5 by 7 um, to get them to flatten out and to let them dry. So I'm gonna set those to the side and let those get a little drier because we're gonna be adding lots of goodness to that. 
Now, I did, like I said, I used the new Falling Leaves embossing folder. Um, Changing Seasons, sorry. Change, it looks like Falling Leaves. And I put this on, I ran it through my platinum machine. I have this cut for at four by five and a quarter. And isn't that, can you see it? There you can. Isn't that pretty? This in a marriage of gold embossing powder or our new copper would be absolutely great. So we're going to use this. Hold on one second. Because I forgot. Let's see if I have one cut. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I do. Let me look and see what color it is. Um, cocoa powder. I knew I was forgetting something and then I got. So I have a piece of cocoa powder. And I'm just going to run because it's been in my folder. I do that quite often. I just have a bunch cut so that I can just grab because you didn't want to watch me cut. So I'm just going to fold this. Let's crease it all up. And this is going to go. I've been into doing it like that, but we'll see. So we have this. I ran it through my Changing Seasons embossing, embossing folder. So I'm going to set those to the side. I have a few other P I pre-cut everything. You know what? I'm going to bring this back because I'm going to lay it out as we're going to put it together. I took a piece of our corrugated cardstock. It's mini corrugated. And we're going to put that here. And then one of our hostess benefits, if you have a party of $150, you can get this a Adorable, oh my gosh, pretty leaves die set for $4.95 when you have a $150 party. You can use this with some of your hostess dollars. Oh, so pretty. So what I did, because I don't know for sure how I'm going to lay them out, I grabbed some of our pumpkin bread paper and I cut the more maple-y looking out. I cut three just in case, and I took Blue Lagoon, and I cut three, just because I don't know. And then I showed you how I cut out the insides from the one die set. I cut the bigger one out in um, pumpkin bread, and I cut the smaller one out in Blue Lagoon. So that's what I have going on. I'm going to move this off to the side. I'm just waiting for my flowers. And this goes together actually very, very quick. I am going to put some of our, this is pretty, mm. my craft glue. Is going to work better Take this down and we're gonna lay that right there and if I have a little bit hanging over which I do lined up just take your pro shears and snip it off and there we have that now I'm going to stamp my sentiment I grabbed one of our brand new ATS's our ATS's took a major overhaul um, they really cleaned out the big catalog and we have this one that's um, time to shine 
it is $8.95, but it's packed full. It has four different sentiments on it, and I picked It's Your Time to Shine, and I have a small piece. It wouldn't be a cappy video if I didn't have my paper. I laid it here. I thought I laid it here. This will work. Here we go. And I'm going to stamp this on pumpkin bread. And I'm just going to go and eyeball it. And stamp this on pumpkin bread. Once you get everything cut out, this goes really, really fast. It's your time to shine. Pretty. Isn't that pretty? I love pumpkin. Um, Pumpkin bread, that's like my color. I'll set that to the side. You know what? I am going to snip this off a little bit. There we go. If you don't think you can cut a straight line, cut it in an angle. That does one of the best things that you can do, really. Um, another, and you've seen me do this, and I've mentioned it before. If you have a hard time getting these aligned all the way around, do a little, little offset thing. I, I like doing this because then it looks great. You can also, let me pick it up because it's easier to, I've even done that where I've purposefully turned them a little bit. It still looks great and you don't have to worry about the even borders. So if you struggle with that, it, it never has to be, It make it your own. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, in fact, because I cut that at an angle, I think this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. So actually, I can take this. Journey Craft Blue actually does work the best when you use embossing folders. It just gets in all the nooks and crannies. Smear this around. I think it's plugged up. I was crafting on mm, one day last weekend and I forgot to close it. So it's a little gumpy. So as long as you have it and you can move it, Looks great. I'll look for my pin quick. Okay, we're gonna set this to the side and this is gonna go together really quick. There's one thing that I wanna do to these flowers and I have not played with this color yet. I'm so excited because it's gonna be so pretty and I'm in the fall mood because it got down to 91 degrees today. That is huge. It feels like fall. <laughs> so these are pretty much dry. This one isn't quite, but that's okay. You can speed them up by using your heat tool. And here I have the copper pen pastel. It's so pretty. When I first got it, I wanted to see what it looked like. I did the little makeup swatch test. Isn't that pretty? So I'm gonna put a real light coat over this. 
I want to give the flowers a little bit of dimension. It very slight. We're just going to take, I'll show you, one little swipe, two little, barely, there's barely, I can't get it. See, just at the very tip. And I'm actually, I'm going to take a little off and oh so gently. I'm going to rub this over it. This has got a beautiful shimmer to it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So pretty. But I still want to have my, this is on buttercream cardstock. I still want to be able to see my buttercream. I want that lightness and contrast. So here's the next one. You get crumples in and you get crumples out. It's like hills and valleys. And I was looking for the right one. If you want to add more, if you do this technique, by all means, go ahead and add more. I just want a little something, something. So you have you picked up on my color combination that's just a little bit different for fall? I think Blue Lagoon with pumpkin bread is a really great, great combination for fall. And this one's still a little damp. It's going to pick up a little more. Look at that nice little crease I got right there. Because we by no means want these absolutely perfect. I'm just going to clean off my sponge as long as I'm on here. There we go. Close that up. And this is the copper. And this is in our brand new um, inspiration book and catalog. So we're going to put this together. Mm. And I'm going to alter the leaves. Um, I'm going to kind of turn them. I want them bent up just a little bit. So you can crease them just with your thumb. Hi, Miss Sharon. How are you doing? I missed you. You've been in my prayer, sweetheart. You have definitely been in my prayers. I'm so glad to see you. I missed you last week. But I know what you were going through. And I'm so glad you're here. You sweet lady, you. So I'm just going to... Turn this, I want some, a little bit of something, something with this. And I want to hold these together really good. So I'm going to take some of my craft glue and I'm going to alternate these. And I'm just going to hold it there for a second. And keep looking up to see who else is joining us. I'm going to take this one because I want to see the petals from all of them. I love this steel roll die. This is, um, yeah, it's one of my go-tos. Um, if I have to do blooms this size, this is the one that I grab. Now I have my insides. I'm going to bend these up a little bit because I have a little curve going on here. And I'm just going to put a little bit there. I'm going to pop that in. Hold it for a second. Now you're going to really see the pumpkin bread and the blue lagoon come together. I think 
if you agree with me, can you put like a one if you really like this color combination? Or if you have to wait to see it all put together, that's fine too. But a one if you really like this color combination. And I ended up just by chance, I alternate them so you can see both of them. Now I'm going to grab one of our Bloom Benefits. Bloom Benefits are what you get when you make a purchase of $75 and you get to pick all the free goodies. You get to pick a free goodie out of the front. And we have these adorable, we have these bigger sequins and we also have these gems. It's called all the things that's and you get 80 pieces so I'm gonna put the cap on that because that's about dried up enough and I thought to incorporate a little bit more blue I'm gonna take this pretty it's almost like cool cool in the center Wow I'm liking that and I did not practice any of this before I came on here. So when you see, I see. It's all in my head. That's how I work best, I think. So we're going to put our bloom here. Let's try and keep this straight. We're going to put our bloom here. And I want to put, you know what? It's going to blend in too much with the corrugated. So we need the pop of blue in the back. And we have to have odd numbers. So I'm going to go like this. <laughs> Thank you. You guys are so sweet, all of y'all. My scrolling doesn't stay down, so I have to drag it. I have to drag you down every time, and I don't want to do that. Yes, I love the way this flower turned out. So we're going to do three of those because the pumpkin bread blended in too much, and I want to put <clears throat> a little. I'm just going to put two because I want to have five. So I want to arrange it like this. And I'm going to put It's Your Time to Shine. I'm going to lay that right over there. I'm going to put it right in the corner like that. And this is actually going to go to my youngest, who in two and a half weeks will be starting at a brand new college. Yay! So let's get this all together, okay? I am going to put this back, and I'm going to arrange... I like to the way Journey Craft Glue is going to be our friend on this, okay? Especially you've got that corrugated cardstock, and this kind of just works its way in. You know I love me my Journey Craft Glue. I got an itch. Oh my. Oh my. A little bit of that there. And I do have to tell you, um, there is a Facebook group that I would love for you to go um, check out. It is um, our Fun Strampers Journey. It is, everybody is invited, and it's Journey Sketches. And um, I'm actually participating this week by doing this. Um, what they do is it's between my upline, Janice Whiting, she's in Waco, and her one of her BFFs, um, Kazan Clark, who lives up in Colorado, and they alternate weeks um, putting out a sketch. So they also put out a sample. Uh, you know me in the hands. So I saw... The sketch, um, it's Janice's week. Uh, it, it's her week at bat this week. So um, I thought, mm, I, I can do this. 
because I like being able to sometimes you you don't have the mojo and just go into your search bar and type in not yet not yet type in journey sketches and we're on week I don't know I don't know I don't participate every week um, they have drawings um, they have the pick of the week I've gotten pick of the week once and that was one that I did on Facebook live I'll have to show you um, you guys will remember it when I bring it out see and I'm I'm gonna move this one because I just want it right over the top our journey craft blue I got a little seepage it dries clear we're gonna be good we are gonna be good okay 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 I love this I could have pop pop put mm, I could have put pop dots I have slowed out but put our dimensions but And because of the color combo now a challenge I want you when once I'm finished I want you to go over and find journey sketches and follow Janice and Kazan they do a fantastic job they will do videos um, they have each done videos if they have done a technique um, Janice they both are marvelous teachers Janice is a teacher and Kazan is also a teacher she's an artist um, she's um, she's so fun to listen to because she's from South Africa and uh, yeah absolutely great two wonderful I I think the world of both of them so check out journey, journey sketches if you're looking for a little a little mojo I'm gonna move this all the way over to the top and on the edge here and these are uh, where they're kind of bending they're gonna pop loose and I know you can't really see a lot of the definition I'm okay with that because I think putting this gem here is just gonna be spectacular and there's so much dimension on it that we're just going to put it right I'm going to scoot it over so I can maybe get it in an envelope <laughs> I'm never going to get this in an envelope <laughs> I'm never yeah, say hi when you stop in because all I get is I have how many eyeballs I have on me okay I'm going to hold that there and I still have the embossing folder and I'm dealing with all that so I'm going to throw some glue on that I'm just going to turn it around so I make sure I get it pretty close to aligned I'm going to leave a tad bit of a border and this isn't exactly like the sketch that they have I really go and check it out um, Janice's was um, she had the sentiment over here it's basically just one piece of paper and, and stamped on but I kind of went with it so I really like this um, buttercream we'll start at the back this is cocoa powder this is the inside and I've been I've been finishing the insides of my cards um, I have buttercream run through the changing seasons embossing powder I have the leaves I cut out of blue lagoon and pumpkin bread I stamped it's your time to shine with the ATS um, time to shine great value there corrugated cardstock 
I cut this out with my Summer Blooms Steel Rule die, rubbed it down with some of my, our brand new um, copper embossing powder. And there we have it. And, oh, and I have our little, all the things that's free with a $75 purchase that I think just matches perfectly. So let me let me see if I can get a Zoomaloo going. I really like the way that turned out. I really, really do. So Oh, thank you. Hi, Miss Karen. I have to, it doesn't automatically scroll. I don't know if you guys know the trick to doing that with Facebook Lives, but thank you, Miss Sharon. I'm glad you like it. And Miss Lori, yes. Journey sketches, please. Everybody go over there and give them some love. Tell them that Kathy sent you. They're gonna wonder where all these hi Kim. Everybody's gonna wonder where these people are coming from. Go. Um open to the public and it's so much fun so hey there's something oh there's something so much fun I'm gonna set this over and let it finish drying where's my little journey catalog so tomorrow August 1st let me zoom back out I got that whoa okay tomorrow August 1st all the goodness and wonder. Do you like scarecrows? I think he's a doll. Do you like? Do you like pumpkins? These are called Martha's pumpkins. That's the only thing I think I know for sure the name of because mm, you have one that looks like a sweater. You have another one that kind of looks like a sweater. You have one that's hearts. Okay, you can have pumpkins all the time. And you have one here that, mm, it has cobwebs. You've got the whole year, you're good to go. This can be for spring. It's got a bloom. You're good to go. Um, Kathy's favorites. Let's go through Kathy's favorites. The host exclusives are greatness. So if you have a party, where whether it be a makeup party, you have a virtual party, which virtual parties are the easiest things for a hostess to do. I want you to know that. Then you get free money to buy stuff with. So you can take some of your free money and you can get this die set for four ninety five, you can get this little um, adhesive back set for ninety five. If you're liking polar bears, where are you? Look at oh, they're so cute! And it has some of our the rose gold frosty, mm, and I just I love it all. We have an adorable new snowflake, spooky moon, embossing coat, embossing embossing folder the introduction to if you want to be a coach take your time and read this if you're not a coach because this is like they've had a lot of specials in signing up to be a fun stampers uni coach but you can get started for $49 and you can get one of our machines for 50% off you can get them both if you want to. And you get a coupon for uh, anything you want, $100 worth of free product. So if you want to go shopping through the Journey Holiday Mini, you have $100 to spend. Yeah. Anyway, and you get catalogs. Halloween is so fun here. These guys are just cute. My kids are... 34, 23, and 20, and they still get this kind of stuff for Halloween. Um, these skeleton dance, 
I'm sorry, but they are way too cute. Uh, well, thank you, Karen. I think it's great for the new sketch, too. I'm going to post it later on. Let me fit um, Martha's pumpkins. Mm, I love it. If you like bugs, all kinds of bug stuff, they combined our fall and Halloween paper into one pack, which is epic because you never really know what to do with all the leftover Halloween and all the leftover Thanksgiving So and fall. So they combined them. That's great. Greatness, greatness. We'll go through this more. But um, got the little scarecrow. Got to show you. And he's so cute. And color me fall. The embossing folders have taken an epic step up. I love my embossing folders. Um, I showed you a great technique using our mirrored paper last week. And these little pumpkins and leaves to do that on your gold mirrored paper so beautiful turkeys thankful friends the christmas i am going to be doing a lot of christmas stuff and i'm going to probably be doing it within the next two weeks and i could be doing a live every single night because there's so many things i want to share um this stamp set it's the most wonderful time of the year you stamp it little decorating you're done this die set, uh, can I say, I'm a pumpkin, a pumpkin. I'm a pine cone person. I have pine cones decorating my house in my living room because I'm kind of more of the rustic person. In love, in love. Adore him bundle. Isn't that gorgeous? And you can use this on the same background technique that I showed you last week. So if you haven't seen it, go back and check it out. The Holy Nativity um, die set. This is the one I used last week. I've also got more great ideas for this one. Everybody needs a great poinsettia. I mean, they really did knock this out of the park. Now, for all you kind of trippy people out there, everybody needs a gnome for Christmas. I love these guys. Uh, for tags to put on. Um, Christmas treats that you give to your neighbors and um, the cozy knit embossing folder so pretty somebody used that on one of the journey sketches Karen didn't they I thought I saw that somebody had used that it was so pretty with the fox um, we have the nutcracker we have this new gift twine for putting on your tags on your gifts and it's heavier and it's gold and it's really pretty see how much bigger it is than a regular size I have a full one I think this one's see how much bigger it is it, that's that much heavier it's greatness Put that away. Um, for Hanukkah Hanukkah um, and our Christmas paper. I'm going to dig some of this out and I'm going to do some projects with this because who doesn't love some buffalo check? Who doesn't love some kind of off doing the rose? It's greatness. Okay. All roads. Here's a flamingo with a Santa hat. I actually know a few people that actually love this and they really want to get their hands on it. Um, adhesive back, 3D coffee mugs. You get a gift card if you don't have the stamp. Get the bread tag die. Get one stamp. Merry Christmas. Put this on it. Tie it on. You are good to go. We're going to do fast, easy. Fast and easy. If you're a coloring person, um, stay cozy. And this, this can be used basically as soon as it gets cold, which for Wisconsin, as soon as it hits 32 freezing, 
Um, you can probably use this then till next May when it gets up to 50 again. Sorry, guys. I know how it is. Mary Everything, the little Mr. Deer with an attitude. Love him. This little uh, retro tree. Mm. More adhesive stickers. Planner clips. Tons of stuff. Um, believe in the magic of Christmas. You want a sneak peek? I actually followed something that was in the, I'll show you the picture in the catalog, because I have it right here. Use your, use your inspiration books and catalogs. Inspiration. Um, I do it all the time. So here we have him in a snowball. There's the little elf with some of our um, our paper, a little bell, this, and actually it takes you step by step how to recreate this. You know, let me fold it, then I won't be arguing with it. Okay, let's play it, and it takes you step by step. So that's what I followed. I don't have any bells, but I used modeling paste, um, this is cool pool, but what I did is I wanted to look make look like snow. Oh, you can hear see a couple spark, uh, uh, sparkles. I put some of our sparkle dust, and then I don't have the scallops, and I wanted it to look more like a snowball. So I actually took some modeling paste, pretty thick, and you can see, and I just tapped it on with my spatula and sprinkled it with some um, sparkle dust. And um, it took a long time to dry, but that's okay. I added some of our candy gems, and that's, that's my take on him. I like the green, throwing the blue in. It just, you don't have to be traditional. And I'm going to do more of that. So this, this all come, goes live. You can shop out of this at my online store at 12.01 tonight, Central Standard Time, really. Then another thing that's happening, you know, always know I have to do some housekeeping. Um, another thing, and I will post the link for this. We are having prepped to play. I love the names that they come up with. Prepped to play. I, I'm sorry, I did, I printed it in black and white. Whoa, I'm getting better at that. So what this is, is 20% off select mixed media products. Um, it includes all of our stencils though. I'm pretty much sure um, our stencils our paints, easels, the um, house to home, the three piece wood set. Go back to around page 254, 260, 263. Go to the back of your catalog. There's all kinds of goodies in there um, that are on this. I will, they just, I just found it posted. So um, stencils, 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 abstract wall, heart. Polka Dot Winter Wonderland. But the one thing that I really wanted to let you know, because since they have come out, the Pan Pastels, two years ago, I believe it was two years ago, they have been on sale once. Now they're on sale for the second time. Now, it is only select. If you have been looking at the pan pastels, it is, and I opened it up and I marked them for you so you know. Our pan pastels are seven, I'll open this up. Our, oh, sorry, I got clear. Our seven, here we go. This is the party pop. There's seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven in a set. So it's the party pop. 
the rich sorbets confectionery days and the mother nature okay seven colors in a set you can go online and you can take a look none of the singles okay that's no rose gold no copper no gold um no um clear it is only the sets of seven which they're normally 50 bucks and 20 percent off that takes them down to 40. a set of pan pastels will last your lifetime i have had it's it took me a year and a half a year and a half to get all my sets of pan pastels I haven't made a dent in any of them, except maybe rose gold, and I just got that. But go on to my store, check out the prices. Um, if you're coming to my class on Sunday, I will have these printed out so that you can take a look, see, and you can find um, what you're looking for. Start your Christmas projects. Um, get them going. My class this week, if you are around Azel, Texas is from one to four and we are doing a 3d shadow box it's gonna be so fun it's so cute I love it I put it away so I can't show you or maybe I didn't this is my class this week it's our little shadow boxes and some coloring. But I decided we are not, I gessoed and painted this outside. We're not gonna do that because I got kind of a warped look. But this is our class. I have lots of dimension going on with the pop dots. This is not the only way that we're gonna do it. We have lots of ideas. So, I'm finished, okay? I'll hide that back. Here's the finished sweetheart. She's pretty. I really like her. Everybody have a great evening. Have a great rest of the week. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Be kind and be nice. I love y'all and have a great rest of the week and evening. Talk to you later. Bye.